Sean Jeffers gets us underway for this Emirates FA Cup fourth qualifying round tie between Bishop Stortford and St Albans City. That long ball is searching and it's not totally dealt with by the Saints. Kyron Wiltshire managed to scramble back and get a foot on it. And that effort is blocked. That's a goal for Bishop Stortford. It's a calamity at the back for the Saints. Matrifix, his clearance is closed down. And Stortford take the lead in absolutely disastrous circumstances for the Saints. And it's the former City man, Darren Foxley, who gets the goal. He's come back to haunt the Saints. The Saints here look forward as they search for an immediate response. Mitchell Weiss gets past one. He takes shot. He hits the post. Goes back to Marsh, Sunday. Can he get a shot away? And it's into the arms of the goalkeeper. Oh my goodness me. That was a brilliant chance for the Saints here. Mitchell Weiss, he just dink past one. Got the effort away, but it came off the post. Matrovic will go along with this free kick. He searches for Tom Bender on this left. Bender wins it well. He nods it inwards towards Solomon Inwabuki. Inwabuki finds Banton in space in the left box. Banton's ball in towards Mitchell Vice. He takes turn. He takes aim. It's just wide of the post. Stanley goes along with this towards Mitchell Vice. Ball doesn't quite drop for him. He looks to win the header. Comes towards Zane Banton in the space box. He's got a chop and it's just about cleared at his feet. But the Saints are causing issues here. It was another well won header by Mitchell Weiss and Zane Banton did, just couldn't quite get a shot away. He swings it in towards the back stick. It's there to be one, but the header is just wide from Solomon and Wimbuki. That's another chance for the Saints though. They've had four inside ten minutes. Who may have the chance of a counter here if they can get it out of their feet and go. A searching ball. It's in towards the forward. He's got a chance to make it two, and it is. 2 0. Aaron Green. That searching long ball causes trouble for the Saints. And they're two behind with 16 minutes gone. easily dealt with by Joy McKenna in the heart of the City defence. Kyron Wiltshire turns three players brilliantly there and now Mitchell Weiss. He switches it to Devontae Stanley on the run, the fullback. He looks to get the cross in but it goes behind for another City corner. That's well won by Dave Deju there, the City defender. Kyron Wiltshire is caught late but the Saints look to march forward and now Sean Jeff is in space on the left. It goes outside, looks to cross it in, but it's over the bar, high and wide, not very handsome. After some good work from the Saints there on the counter. Now Devante Stanley will move down this right hand side. He's still on the run. Kyron Wiltshire finds him. He doesn't quite. It's cleared. But here's Sean Jeffers now. He takes aim. But Jack Giddens can hold on to that fairly comfortably. Zam Banton will swing this in.
This is flicked on by Jeffers, and his header is just over the bar. It was a decent effort for the City man, but there's always just too much on it, and it was always sailing over. Chip this towards the City head. Possibly Dave Dijoux, who's just got his arm up in the air on the edge of that box. Bantony swings it in. It's defended well though by Stortford. And that's half time. Bishop Stortford 2, St Albans City 0. In this Emirates FA Cup fourth qualifying round tie. The Saints have enjoyed the lion's share of the play and the lion's share of the chances. But Stortford have been clinical. And they hold a commanding lead. And home side get us back underway. This former City man Darren Foxley stood over this. It's a three man wall for the Saints. Here's Foxley. He curls it in. It's into a dangerous position. But it's wide. McKenna just moves forward into midfield, but he loses it. And it's a chance for Stortford. He bursts through and he skies it over the bar. Frankie Merrifield, he had time and space. And he could have put the result almost beyond doubt to let off for the Saints Zane Banton now in space on the left he finds in Wibuki in the middle Wibuki goes back to Zane comes Sean Jeffers he has a shot and it's well saved by Giddens that was better from the Saints there it was a real sharp shot but Giddens was equal to it down to his right One again by Wiltshire. Imabuki looks for Vice. It's chipped into him. He sends it across. It's just about dealt with Dunstorff, but it's back to Vice. Curls it onto his left. Shot is blocked. Banton now. Takes aim with his left and it drags just wide of this near post. It's a loose from Imabuki. Stortford looks to go again. It's a long one. It's chested down. They move down the right. It's in space. He's got a chance to shoot. But it's straight out of the goalkeeper. Rihard Matrovic. Now the Saints go again. Sean Jeffers just collides with Joseph Chichiziku. Now Sam Invember, he's down the left. He's got a chance to cross. He's got time and it's both wide. That was a huge chance to make it 3-0. But Frankie Merrifield can't convert. It goes into the home box. It's not back in by Karen Wiltshire. Dave Deja looks to turn. He looks for Joe Tichiziko, but it's cleared just at his feet by a Stortford man. And now November, he's on the march. He's got Dave Deja in front of him. Goes outside, gets past Deja, cuts into the box. It falls. It's a good save, though, from Rihard Mitrovic. That could easily have been 3-0 for Stortford. This corner will be taken by Romeo Akinola. It's curled deep. It's nodded away. Colin Wiltshire will look to get it back in there. It's fished in. Drops to McKenna. Now Akinola. But good defending prevents him getting a shot, shot away. And 
And now here come the home side. Just a couple of seconds left to this tie. It's Bishop Stalford 2, so Norman City 0. Looks like the hosts will be going through to the first round. And that is it. Full time. Bishop Stalford 2, St Albans City 0. Bishop Stortford will progress through to the first round of the Emirates FA Cup. While the Saints are knocked out and will now focus on the FA Trophy and the Vanarama National League South.